Pisces. This is your weekly message. I never meant to make you upset. Just looking back, it's pure regret. So you regret something that has happened within your relationship. Things may be over right now. Even though you don't want things to be over. You feel like you and your person are undone. You feel like you don't need to leave. You want to work things out. This is somebody that pisses you off, gets under your skin. Somebody that it might go little quickies. It ain't really no love making sessions. It's just quickness. Could be an Aries, it could be a Leo. I'm like, there's someone that you feel comfortable enough to cry on their shoulders, or you have cried on their shoulders. You are your person that's tatted up. And you are ready, ready to have this person again. But let's ground. It says this number is a message of encouragement. Even if you fail or fall, you must still rise again. Do not allow yourself to be defeated by small failures along the way. Remind yourself that you have just learned what not what's not working. And that failure is a necessary part of your success story. We all fall down. But as long as you get up, that's all that matters. As long as you keep on trying, as long as you keep on pushing. You're trying to get to this unity. You're trying to be as one. You want to get on the same page. You don't want no more disharmony. We got too late by scissor. You want this harmony, but you might think it could be too late. Because remember, the first song was undone. So you might want things to be undone. And then I say, dealing with a Leo Aries. So you want growth with a fire sign. Are you just passionate about somebody? Compassionate about somebody? You want to nurture this connection. You want to nurture this love. Let's see what y'all got, Pisces. Y'all gonna have some type of growth in the summertime. Might have a trip planned around some water in the summertime. Might be on the beach with your person in the summertime. Someone going somewhere hot. You might be planning this. You might be trying to do some self searching, some soul searching. Somebody can have some blonde hair. You're trying to work on yourself, invest in yourself. You are taking action to go in another direction secretly you've been in a dark space a dark mindset 
juggling, going back and forth. A lot of conflict with somebody that's in and out of your life. A lot of back and forth. Is it too late for us? This is somebody that you're juggling, trying to decide is it, if it's too late for y'all. If it's, if y'all got, I'm hearing end of the road by Boyz II Men. If y'all got into the end of the road. Or can y'all continue? Somebody that was a liar, manipulative, deceptive, sneaky, strategic, always had a sad story, always had an apology, creative with their apologies. Somebody that you was always slow to give towards you. Somebody that you had a romantic relationship with. Somebody that you put in a lot of work with. Love of a woman. Marriage of Lars and Beyonce. Capricorn or a Virgo. You've been focusing on your money. Focusing on working on yourself, investing in yourself. You've been creative. Going towards bossing up towards uh, Aries. Uh, Aries about to take charge and come towards you. This person wants stability with you. They don't want things to be undone with you. They want to give you something stable. And you have a financial opportunity coming towards you. Maybe have a having some type of um, sharpening your skills at work or something. You're trapped in your head because of a lot of conflict that's been going on. You're trapped in your head because you can't make a decision. Because you're thinking negative. You want to move forward, but there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of disagreements. There's a lot of anxiety. A lot of negative thoughts, victim mentality, but you do have a uh, new money coming. I said that. I saw this card before it came out. But you have abundance coming. You just got to get out your own way. Stop being your own worst, worst um, critic. You need to think positive. Get out of the negative mindset. Get out of the lack mentality. And you holding on to something or someone in your past that you need to let go of. Someone, you might be speaking your truth to somebody. Somebody that you want to celebrate with. Somebody that you may have a friendship with, might be a friendship and a sexual relationship too. Someone that you had some type of epiphany, some type of enlightenment, you realize that you've been standing in your own way and you do deserve love. So you got new love and new money coming. You just got to look ahead. More of money. You had an awakening, some type of epiphany. You can let go of these burdens and start your healing process. Make the decision. To heal yourself because you're nine of cups and your stability is right around the corner. But you gotta let go of the negative mindset. You got new love, new money, abundance coming, forward movement, but you need to let go of the burdens. 
let go of the chaos, let go of the confusion, let go of all the responsibilities. You all, all you can do is what you can do. Definitely an Aries for the good times. L Green. Tell oh, you yeah, I want a uh, a redo for the good times. L Green. Open your heart. Yolanda Adams. Virgo. Naked. Scorpio. LMA. One more chance. Biggie. Gemini. I just did a reading with this song on TikTok. <sighs> Aries again. Taurus. Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, 11 and 5. So my birth can be 11, 5, 4, 5, 4, 11. Ten five, eight five, twelve five, twelve eleven, eight eleven, eleven eleven. All right, Pisces, this is y'all weekly message. I love y'all. Keep your head up. Everything gonna be alright.